everyone, it's Bibi Cameron here and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be using the Tonic Craft Kit number 22 to make some projects and to give you some ideas. So first let me show you the contents of the kit. I'm sure you have seen many videos unboxing the kit but you know me and I have to show you anyway. So with this kit you will get a bottle of Nuvo Glitter Accents a mini Nuvo mousse, Nuvo clear ink, embossing powder, a mini sparkle spray, Nuvo creative pens or alcohol markers, paper in different colors and textures, a die set and a stamp set. So this die set is huge. The largest die measures about 7 inches and a half by 5 inches and this oval here that I'm going to be using today measures 6 by 4 and a half inches. So here is the die set with 6 oval dies. Some of them has intricate details and you also get 2 large sentiments and 2 floral dies that coordinate with this stamp set here. And you know that with this kit the sky is the limit. But today I want to share with you this project. This is super easy, super simple, and you can do it in any color for any occasion. So I'm going to start by using some texture cardstock by Tonic Studios, and I'm going to use the largest oval die in the kit together with this decorative die. I'm going to run this through the die cutting machine, and once I have this done, I'm going to use the decorative die to die cut the other side of this oval. I'm loving this pattern to make Christmas theme projects. It's just beautiful. Now I'm going to use the same oval die and I'm going to cut printer paper. I die cut two pieces here but I only need one to create a template and then use that template over the die cut to give shape to my bar. So I'm going to fold this oval in half, just like that, and then I'm going to fold it in the other half. So you will get something like this. Magic! <laughs> now I'm going to use a scoring board, and I'm going to score at 3 quarters of an inch, just there. Easy, you see that? I'm going to use a pencil to show you those scoring lines, or those lines. Next, I'm going to measure three quarters of an inch from the edge of that oval shape, just like that. And then I'm going to join those two lines together, like so. I'm going to use scissors to cut this area here. I don't need that little piece there. And I need to create a flap here. So I'm just going to calculate like five millimeters or a quarter of an inch. And I'm going to trace a line and I'm just going to fold the paper like so. Because I need to do the same cut in the other side of the oval. Just like that. And we are done. We got the template to make the little bag. So I'm going to place it on top of my die cut and I'm going to use a pencil or a ruler or something to help me to trace the cutting lines. Just like that. And now I'm just going to fold the paper like so. I'm not going to score lines or anything. I'm just folding the paper like that. Now I'm going to use double-sided tape here and there or on those flaps and I'm going to adhere the sides of this strip holder like so. So as you see there, this is super easy. I'm going to use an A4 sheet of paper and I'm going to cut a piece of paper all along the width of the paper. And I'm going to cut a piece of paper maybe 
a quarter of an inch or one centimeter. I'm not measuring this, it's an estimate. It could be thicker or narrower, whatever you want. I'm going to adhere this double-sided tape there in the back of this piece. And then I'm going to adhere this piece at the bottom of the back just to keep everything in place and to hide those edges there. Okay, all I need to do here is to add a handle and I'm going to glue this using Nubo the looks adhesive. I have to wait a little bit until this is completely adhered to the bag and the bag is done. This little bag is two and a half inches by two and a half inches and it's one and a half inches width. Now I'm going to do a super easy stamping and coloring and I'm going to play some music to show you that part of the process. You can use the template over and over and also use another dies in the kit for different results. You can also use other supplies in the kit to do this. It has this lilac paper and I also use the Nubo markers to color the flowers in this sample here just to show you that you can do that as well. Another thing I did was using the large die, the super large die with a floral intricate detail at the edge to cut some pieces of this die cut and embellish cards and also my little treat holder here. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel or visit the blog for more ideas and inspiration. I made other projects using the kit, but those are in the blog. I will make a super long video if I show you all that. And the cards are super simple. So I'm just showing you here some pictures and some sneak peeks so you can have an idea about that. But honestly, all my projects are super duper easy. Thank you very much for watching and happy crafting. Bye.